Hello and welcome to episode 74 of Into the Podcast. I'm your host, Sam, and I'm joined each and every goddamn week by Ryan Chittenden. Say hello, Ryan Chittenden! Hello, Sam. How are you, mate? Very well, thank you. How are you? Well, I'm all right, you know, but I'm not best pleased with you. Why is that? Because obviously I've been laughing a lot recently and joking about how your wife's carrying my baby. Mm. And you went and grassed on me. Of course I did. You called HR down. I bloody well did. And now we're sat here with bloody manager Megan, who's going to tell me off for being mean to you. <laughs> Say hello, manager Megan. Hello, manager Megan. Hey. hey. Ryan, introduce her properly while I turn the reverb down on that. Thanks. Um, I, don't know. I don't think you need uh, much of an introduction, because all of our listeners will have been more than familiar with with you Megan we speak about you every week with the only person that does anything for this podcast <laughs> yeah because you don't <sighs> I did answer the door you did to <laughs> our food right hold on a minute I was searching for a film you're a guest in my house and I said to Ryan can you just collect the food for I'm me I'm also a you guest you ran away you literally ran away from the front I door don't like and made Megan open the door Without the pin. Without well, the I pin. I didn't have the pin either. This is not. This has not been well. I'll be honest. I want to bring Megan here, really show what professionals we are, and it's just been an absolute shit show so far. I, I don't really don't know what you're expecting. <laughs> like, <laughs> <me neither. laughs> like, I don't know. I thought we could maybe you know make her think that we were good at what we do, and she's not Megan's wasting been her to time. Deal with our and... shit for so long now. I'm surprised you keep coming back, Megan, to be honest, but we appreciate it. It wasn't the intention. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I mean, you know, very, very busy job, doing a doctorate, and uh, and then, you know, doing all of our podcast shit on the side. That's not bad going. We, we need more out of you, I'll be honest. This is more of a, more of a review on your... I thought this was your telling off. <laughs> nah. Nah, it's, flip, flip it's hers now, my house, mate. Go answer the door. <laughs> <laughs> are you happy to be here, Megan? Are you excited? I am here against my will. Uh, but... wh- why did Ryan make you? You both made me. I don't know what you're talking about. And I, I, I have <laughs> bought snacks that I've paid for. That's why we invited per... you. <laughs> we invited, but we invited you were kind snacks. enough to treat me to dinner. That is Pitching true. You. We did. This happens every time, you know. We invite someone down, and I always say to Ryan, we will treat them to dinner. And what happens is I pay for the other person's dinner. I paid for delivery. You're part of the delivery. (laughs) Not everyone else's. You didn't ask me to pay for (laughs) half of the delivery. Fucking (laughs) honestly. So we've got lots of exciting things to go through today. We're going to do our usual uh, top five. We can get the top five jingle out. We haven't played that for so long. We've not done that in so long. And then we're going to do a 60 second recommendation because you have to. And if you can't think of one, we'll not do it because I don't want to get hit. And then you've done some quizzes for us. I've done some questions for you. And uh, this is where you're really going to see how bad I am. And why, <laughs> and why I ask the questions normally. I'm excited. We haven't done a quiz or any like trivial stuff for a while. I, don't think. I guess it's kind of hard when it's only the two of us because it would always be me asking you. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Whereas yeah. it, this is nice. It's, and we never asked you to. You brought this yourself, which is very nice of you. You brought the snacks. You brought the good vibes. You brought the fake lilt. And you brought the quiz. And I have continued to try and get content. Yeah, and you took pictures. Speaking of... Um, we, again, you know, bought your dinner, nice like that, aren't I? And you took a picture of yours and Ryan's dinner and refused to picture mine. Yours didn't have as nice a wrapping as ours. Mine was nicer, In, in our defence. Right, well, you owe me £17. Pounds. <laughs> you owe me another <laughs> £2 for delivery, you little bitch. I'll pay you next month. Oh, yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> right, where should we go first? Should we jump straight in with a bit of a, a, bit of a top five? Yeah, I want the jingle. I, it's been so long since we've had the jingle. I don't know if I have it on this computer, so I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Yeah. Drew, maybe sing us in. No. I, I did. I did have it on my computer. I always forget about the <laughs> at the end. It's kind of sexual, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We what haven't d- even introduced Drew Flanagan this week, have we? No, we haven't actually. What you do it? You're good at this. You're really good at the selling Drew. Oh, um, 
Drew Flanagan music. Yes, where can you listen to Drew Flanagan music of Drew Flanagan music? Anywhere that you would s- normally stream music. What, like Spotify? Absolutely. Amazon Music? Correct. Oh, I bet you can't listen to him on YouTube, can you? Well, you'd be wrong. What, and you're telling me he's got things like Facebook and Instagram? He has all the socials. Oh my I, God. I think just Facebook and Instagram. But, but still. <laughs> but still. The, the important ones. Exactly, that's all that matters. That Maybe was... you should get on TikTok. Oh my god, yes. You know, Drew Talk. Drew Talk. Well, when when we go to Blidfest, where all of our crazy fans can come and watch Drew Flanagan of Drew Flanagan music. Yes, and they can watch that. Not to watch us do a live show. No. Because that's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening. No. It is. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Well, I don't want to do this. Megan don't want to be on the episode, which is it. We're all here against our will. <laughs> I think you go Sam and Mother Chittenden for that oh, episode. Oh, yeah. Me and Anne. Yeah, okay. We, we would do a banging episode, to be you fair. Would. You what, would. What do you think your mum would want to talk to me about if we did an episode together? <sighs> the Sound of Music, probably. Never seen it. I'm going to have to watch it. Oh, yeah. It's a favourite film. Or, like you did to me when you tried to convince me Titanic was the greatest film ever. Yes. She can do it with Sound of Music. I think, yeah, I think that's fair. And I can talk to her about Scrotum again. Scrotum's a great film. Scrotum is a great uh, film. You need another one. We can't just repeat, repeat Scrotum. Scrotum mm. 2, is that a thing? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. If not, we'll make it. Why not? We haven't got enough to do. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be you that does it. It'll be no, me. It'll be you that does it. Make our film, Megan. God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, top five. Drew, we love you. Thank you for singing us in. We're going to be hearing a lot from you today. Yeah, we will. We will. Um, so, as always, when we have guests on, we like to uh, we like to listen to what you're into. So, the idea of this is over over the many years of podcasting, me and Ryan have done our own top fives mm-hmm. of various things. Oh, oh yeah, a from, wide range from cars to biscuits to films, fake cars, you know, like vehicles, pop culture vehicles, that thing. Don't stare at me like. That. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so you've picked your five favourite topics, and you're going to give us your top one. Five of them, one times five, equals one. So <laughs> Quick math. Quick math. So, Megan, where, where are you starting with us today? I'm going to start with biscuits. Biscuits. A strong, biscuits. A strong topic, straight away. I'm really controversial. I hate a hobnob. <gasps> Can't stand them. That is controversial. That is very controversial, to be it, fair. Why is... don't you like a hobnob? They're incredibly bitty. They, they are. They they're are very... quite bitty. They're made out of oat. So, that. I it's guess. not for me. But despite being bitty, I think they're still... They're renowned for being quite hardy, aren't they? Like, you can dunk a hobnob. Hardy. Hardy biscuit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very jet. That's what I look for when I buy my biscuits. Hardiness. Hardy. Hardy. They um, stay together. They do. But, yet yeah, Bitty. Bitty. So that's something you don't like. So, <laughs> <laughs> what I do like, um, I am all for a jammy dodger. Interesting. Now, isn't it you that doesn't like a jammy dodger? No. Who is it that doesn't like jammy dodgers? Josh from Culinary Corner. Probably. He strikes me as this. He strikes top me as that. Oh, he's a top tier Josh biscuit. <laughs> Someone I know hates them. I feel like the, you forget about them. You have one and you, you can't remember why you're not. It's not someone I know. It's pretty shits and gigs. Oh, of my. course it is. Yeah, they spoke you know bad on that one. The They're not time. your friends. <laughs> well, I want them to be. Be my friends. You talk about them all bad. the time. He has been to a live show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. They do live shows, Ryan. Yeah, well, they're very successful. <laughs> and I wish them all the best. Yeah, jammy dodger. Just standard jammy dodger. You're not going for any of the flavors like the black currant. No. Mm. Old old bugger. Mm. Good strawberry jammy dodger. Big fan, yeah. Big fan. I do like, a, yeah, I do like a, a jammy dodger. Good choice, great start. Are you Thanks. dunking that bad boy or just? Not I don't think it's a dunker. not a dunker. I don't think it's a dunker. Personally, you know what? I do always dunk mine, but you're right, they're not because it doesn't add any flavour to the jamminess, does it? I think it makes them too fact, soggy. It actually makes it a little mm. bit worse, but yeah. I still do it. Let's should we ask Josh from Culinary Corner for his if expertise? Anyone's, if anyone's going to know, it's Josh from Cul- Culinary Corner. <laughs> Josh, do you dunk a jammy dodger or not? There you, there, you biscuit. Have it. there you go. The, the food master himself has yeah. said, no dunking the biscuit. There, there you go. No dunking. Can I just ask, how did that become a thing? I've only ever eat, seen Josh eat like one thing in his life. <laughs> he just eats rice and chicken. That's it. Why is he the food guy? <laughs> you made it him. I don't, I don't know how that happened. Anyway, 
Megan, be our manager. <laughs> What's I'll next? lead the rest. Um, I've gone pop culture vehicle. Ooh. I've gone for a personal favourite that wasn't mentioned. Go for it. The Mystery Machine. Ah. Uh, we spoke about Scooby Doo today already. We were talking yeah. about Scooby Doo. I grew up on Scooby Doo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Fun. me too. Yeah. I think it had everything, it had snacks. Very it important. It had like inflatables if you ended up in the water. Yeah. Great decor. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Somebody in Lincoln owns a mystery machine and they drive around. Really? And, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, live behind your parents. It's just nice to see, isn't it? Mm. When you're walking through town, mystery machine goes past, you know you're safe. That's true. Yeah, investigating any any weird ongoings or disturbances. A lot of that in Lincoln. Yeah, exactly. And, and they'll you. be there to, you know, solve the mystery. Solve the mystery. <laughs> in their machine. <laughs> I well, don't like the mystery machine. It's, it's cool. like cool. it's just a it's just it's a, a camper van. It's isn't just it? a camper van. It's everything it's, you need. Yeah, it's not overly fancy. It's not like you know the Millennium Falcon or anything like that we talked about. It, but it's still just it as good in its own right. Break through a fence if you needed it to. Oh, it bloody would. Yeah, it would. I like to say big snacks. All the snacks. You know, yeah, and you could just own it in real life. That's the beauty of it as yeah, well. That's true. Yeah. Fantasy becomes reality. It is the one I collect lighters, weird aside. And they do, yeah, I do. I don't know that I've got a little collection. Yeah, okay. well, I, I only collect little... weird ones. So oh, I have like a chocolate bar where you can snap the end off and that lights it. Nice. I have like um, game cards where you slide the cards. Oh, yeah, I've seen, seen that one, um, yeah. And the one thing, if anybody, if any of our million listeners um, happens to know how to source one, the one thing that eludes me to this day is there is a mystery machine lighter that I cannot find for the life of me, but I've seen, I've seen it, and I can't find it, and that would be my crown and jewel. How does it light then? Like, what's, like, do you have to press? Well, I don't know, Ryan, because so, I don't own it yet. Uh, I thought, <laughs> yeah, you, I Ryan. thought you like, you know, admired it from afar. Maybe the wheels. Maybe you, like spin the wheel. Maybe. maybe I don't. Like, you know. Is it that one? Yes, it's that one. Cool. How do you light with it? It's just literally on the top. It's just a lighter on the top. It's not as swanky, but. It's a mystery machine. Yeah. It is. Interesting. I'm just going to see how much it costs and then not buy you it. <laughs> Thank you. So let's see. Let's have a look. So any of our listeners that want to treat uh, manager Megan, um, this shop don't sell them anymore. Brilliant. <laughs> and they've I got zero you. stars. So, yep. Okay. Mystery machine lighter. Everyone go looking for it because if anyone deserves it, it's manager Megan. Oh, yeah, definitely. They're not odds. Yeah. That I will pay for and source myself. As per. No, Ryan will do it. I'll do it. Ryan won't do it. No, you're right. <laughs> I won't. won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've gone uh, Weapon, ooh. which we Googled, but I'm not going to butcher it. Yeah. For Yondu's arrow. That's a great weapon. <laughs> Does that, innit? I feel like I feel it's... like you would have killed yourself by doing that, then. <laughs> I can't whistle very well. <laughs> <laughs> that is a downside to that weapon. Yeah, if you what if you whistle? can't whistle... Can you whistle? I can whistle. Can you whistle? Yeah. Josh, can you whistle? 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 <laughs> you can't even speak, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, carry on. Well, I feel like it's the minimum effort, maximum returns. Yeah, yeah, you can time, take yeah. out a whole gang with that and you look cool. Yeah, it's, it's a mad weapon, really. It's but, ridiculously powerful. To say it's just an arrow. Problem is, though, you need to have the mohawk to use it. Yeah. That's it. Be fine with me. I've got no hair. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. It just slots straight on. I'm not sure. Do you not think I could rock? We'd have to shave no. a big line down, down the, the middle, down head. the centre of your head and plonk the mohawk thing on. It could be worth it. Would you be okay oh, with yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Because you just have that on all the time anyway, wouldn't mm. you? It'd be a oh. permanent feature. I could so. put my, my parting over it. Yeah. There you go. Smarter, not harder. Me. Correct. And then, if anyone were to make a negative comment about my, then you can just <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> Flawless. Um, yeah. So Yondu's arrow. That's that's mine. Three strong that's... choices so Thank far. Uh, I'm going throwback that not many people are going to know. I'll throw a video game. Ooh, a video game. I don't do the the cod. And the cod, the cod, and the, the cods. you know all those funky, funky, ooh, funky games. Mm. Um, I've gone for 
Kim Possible on the Nintendo DS. Really? It was yeah, an... never watched that, you know. It was a Cartoon Network thing, wasn't it? Was it a game first? No. Or, or is it a Cartoon Network thing? I don't think it was Cartoon Network. Was it not? I donn't think so. Is it the, what, the last for like the combat trousers in their school? It was. Shirt. Yeah, I'm sure it's a Cartoon Network thing. But there was a Nintendo DS game and you would shoot your little... Um, what are they called that catches onto things like a like a grappling hook. Yes, exactly that. You would have the little naked mole rat run alongside you. Yeah, had Wade in his little tech bubble. Nice. And you, you know, kicked ass. She, she had awesome. banging hair, didn't she? She did have banging hair. Really great good outfit. Hair. Disney. I knew Disney. it wasn't Cartoon Disney. Network. Disney. It's got the Cartoon Network look though, hasn't it? It's got the Powerpuff Girl esque look. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, not some fun ever watched, but I know it had a. What's the story of Kim Possible? She saves lives. And she looks cool doing it. She has a best friend, Ron, who has a naked Mora. Right. Ron Possible. (laughs) Basically. Um. (laughs) Keep going. I'm glad you find yourself funny. Uh, she has a friend called Come Ron. On. <laughs> oh, carry on. Sorry. Oh, I am so funny. Uh, Why are we not famous? Are you uh, right now? No, what does Ron do? Ron, he has a mole. He does have a mole. Yeah. Ron doesn't do a lot. Cool. Um, but she does loads. <laughs> Are you all right? She does the impossible, mate. She does the impossible. She does the impossible, like Kim. Oh, God. <laughs> she, she deals with all scandals and villains. Who would win the fight, her or the mystery machine? I'm, I'd say Kim Possible. Kim. <laughs> We've lost him. <laughs> We've, he's just gone. Oh, God. <laughs> I was worried about this podcast, but Ron Possible is the low bar. So. <laughs> Ron Possible is the bar. That's it. <laughs> it's just your reaction to it. You, you were so pleased with yourself. Oh, oh God, I'm God, crying. Sorry. I'm actually crying. Yeah, right. Ugh. So, Kim Possible. Yep. On the DS specifically. On the DS, not on the anything else. Not on anything else. I think you can get it on Switch. Yes, was that the one with the little dabber pen? Yes. Never had one. Great for a Nintendogs. Yeah. Nintendogs, that was a big one, wasn't Pretty it? Pretty sure mine are dead somewhere. Yeah. Dehydrated and unfed. It's a modern day Tamagotchi, that, isn't it? It, it was. Um, and then my fictional place I'd like to live, I've gone a little bit basic. You know that you're about to say something then? No, I'm just no. trying to compose myself. <laughs> okay. From the rum possible. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Animal Crossing Kingdom. Interesting. Because it's just vibes. Yeah, no, I get that. I can pick my peach. I can pick my apple. Mm -hmm. I go fishing. Pick your nose if you want. I can pick my nose if I want. I can get my little shells from... I can go to the beach. I can go beach fishing. So you can do anything you can do in life In in real life, says the boy that lives off a jet wash simulator. Yeah, but I did jet wash the other day. I jet washed my pool out. So I've a load of that. It was shit. I ate it every second of it and I missed the game. Which is why you don't do things in real life. Yeah, exactly. I but, imagine it is just all good vibes yeah. on Animal Crossing. I've never played it, but I've seen bits and obviously people go mad for it. You wander around, you chat to your little people, you trade things, you get messages in a bottle. <gasps> Always exciting. What sort of message in a bottle do you get? Well, it depends. Sometimes you get gifts. Like what? The, like a sofa. In a bottle? That's yes. crazy. That is mental. to fuck off bottle, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then you get little um, presents, gifts on balloons, and you have to go to Tom Nook, buy a slingshot, shoot it down, get see, your gift. Now this sounds more like now I see why you want to live there. Yeah. Go into the beach. It's just like skeggy, isn't it? Basically. Yeah. Same. I think they modelled it from Skeg. From Skegness or yeah. Mabo, yeah. Um, but yeah, fucking sofa in a bottle. That makes more sense. If I do honest. need a new sofa and a bottle. I just threw a big bo- Coke bottle away, actually. Could you fit a sofa in it? Not a human sofa. <laughs> Rat sofa? Yes, it Probably, would. It yes. would have fit it. It was a three foot tall Coke bottle that what? I've had for years. Oh, one of them things that everyone keeps their pennies in. Yes, that's exactly uh, what I used it for. One. 
Oh. We went to the bank on Saturday and Why cashed did you in. Why get rid of it? I'd love that. We cashed in. One. Oh, well, it's in the bin. You bellend. Cashed in all our pennies. How much did you have? £55.37. pence. Banging. And you've been saving it for 10 years. Longer. <laughs> <laughs> I had that when I was at uni. <laughs> I had 55 quid. <laughs> it had about... I had about eight old pound coins in there. <laughs> Currency changes, mate. You say yeah. they're not legal tender it, anymore. Yeah, I know, but the bank still take it. Mm. So, Do they? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. What are you going to spend the 55 quid on? Probably baby stuff. Why don't you buy Animal Crossing? Yeah, I could do. Go to Tom Nook. Tom Nook. Tom Nook. Yeah. Get it in a slingshot. Yep. Bang. And then I could get a sofa. A sofa in a bottle. You can also go shake a tree and sometimes money comes out. Oh God, wouldn't that be banging? In real but there's life? a gamble because sometimes it's a beehive and you get stung. Oh, that's not vibes. It's a metaphor that's for not, life. That's not vibes, is it? I, hate, vibes. I don't hate bees. I, I don't... How bees are sound wasps are little bastards. Little wasps are bastards. Hornets. Hornets. Wasps oh. are steroids. Yeah, horrible little fuckers. Them, what are they, they bringing? They're what? literally bringing nothing. Pain. Irritation. Yeah. That's it. Have you ever been stung by a wasp? Yeah. Have I've never been, been stung really? at all. I'm it terrified hurts, it's horrible. of what it's going to feel like. It's not nice. It is not nice. For, I've been for by... what it is, it literally stings you to the core, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it's the crazy. Fact, it just One bing. to ten pain level. It's up there. It's up there. It's eight. I'll say it's an eight. eight. I'll say it's an eight. It stays with you as well, the yeah. pain. My first ever sting, I stood on one. I stood, mm. Yeah. It was like half dead on the floor and I stood on it and it got me right on the sole. A bee or a wasp. That was a wasp. Yeah. See, I remember a wasp stinging me when I was, must have only been about six or seven, crawled on my foot and stung me. Ever since then, a bit of a phobia of wasps. Yeah, they're horrible. Yeah. Do they sting differently? Or is a sting a sting? I can't, I don't know. No, I don't. I just know it. Bees don't oh. tend to sting as much because they, they only get one sting, don't they? Yeah. And it kills them. them. And I got stung by a bee when I was at school because... Felt some back when I had hair on my hair. <laughs> Went like that, just thinking, "What's nothing?" Fucking came back, massive stinger still in my thumb. Oh, I, had to pu- I had to pull it out, massive. and then my thumb swelled up massive. You with hair, you'd look like that guy from Atonement. <laughs> that really famous actor. You that... know that guy that's running into the water with his sleeves rolled up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah I would. People have said that quite a lot, actually. Yeah, I bet they did. Yeah, yeah. We should buy him a toupee. We should buy him a toupee. Uh, no, you could go for now. any hairstyle mm. now. What would you go for? In the if I could day? have any, yeah, yeah. if I could just have it, I would want like long, proper long, thick, like Jason Momoa esque, curly. Would you? Yeah. yeah. What a ball! Like, remind you, you have to shave every day. So exactly, that's a pain in the ass. Sounds really fucking lazy. I don't want to put any effort into the way I look. Mm. I don't. And I don't want to. Would you stand on a mullet? Um, I don't. I'm not opposed to a mullet. He's the sort of person that would suit a mullet, though. It'd look really good on him because you just suit shit. I don't know if I could pull it off. I reckon you could. You know, we'll, we'll try it. We'll, we'll try it. it. Get a get a mullet to pay for me. Into the podcast mullets. That can be our next side business. Yeah. After so our shop will sell goodbye goldfish <laughs> mullets and half written uh, film scripts. scripts. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> we don't want to give it all away because then people are just buying pre-existing scripts you know gives them a bit of creative license exactly you know like them paint by numbers things exactly that yeah and then when we write a little bit more we can bring out another one and just keep making money off it can't we yeah yeah if yeah you put it all out you don't want to put out a full book do you no. who does that it's effort losers what are we talking about uh, top five <clears throat> top five yeah. oh yeah uh, that was it that animal, was animal crossing I like them yeah where, where do you think that stands in what? Out of all the people we've had, Ryan. The best. The best so far. Obviously. Obviously. Manager Megan. Yeah, she does our weight slips. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you going to start paying us to do this, by the way? I As pay you regularly in food and snacks and time and effort, which is at least quadruple what either of you put in. She ruined it with the end bit. But, <laughs> but actually, this is where this is why Megan has a job, because she read what I was going for there. That was a segment into Snack of the Week, and she picked it up and then had to ruin it by telling us how shit we are. We are pretty shit. Oh, we're terrible, I know, but let's save that for later. <laughs> when we really when we're not re- when we're not recording. <laughs> <laughs> um, so 
every uh, guest we have brings us in snacks. We've had some good ones. We have had some good ones. We've had some top tiers. We've had Little Moons, the three course meal day. Yeah. Oh, that was great. We had the chicken and into the podcast hot sauce. Oh, nice. Big shoes to step into here. I am aiming to compete with Matt. Uh, yeah. Wow. I okay. I don't know if it's. I'm, I'm kind of going bang for your buck over taste. But effort was made. Mm hmm. And other effort will be joining in two to three working days when it arrives in the post. Okay. I can okay. already feel the tension in Matt right now. I can just imagine Matt being like, it better not be better than mine. I, <laughs> so fucking gone. I told Ryan last week I couldn't come on last week because I needed time to plan what I was going to do to make really? sure that it rivaled Matt's. And the thing that would have tipped me over the edge hasn't arrived in time. So. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's I've got to let him off. And let him think, have this one. Matt was more worried about going up against Rachel. He should have been worried about you the whole time. Exactly. Un- underdog fucking stomping the way forward. Well, we'll see. No oh, pressure. I'm so excited. Me also, too. you have opened this box and not looked in it. I'm really proud of you. I genuinely didn't look in it. Yeah. Yeah. You've had a sample already of a side snack of we the have. week. We have, yeah. Tell us what the side snack is, because we need to thank for this one. We do. Um, the side snack is a... I'm going to... Pardon the pun. I'm going to butcher it. We... <laughs> Thank you. Not as good as Ron Possible, but not bad. <laughs> uh, Alex has made you a um, rum and apple juice marinated barbecue pork joint. And it's bloody delicious. Alex is... Oh, yeah. Um, go on, go oh. <laughs> For the listeners. <laughs> oh, he's my boyfriend. He's my boyfriend. Yeah. So Alex Tipper, very lovely lad. Um now, did he do this for us or did he do it because you're watching Barbecue Showdown at the minute and he really wanted to give it a go? Yes, to both. Cool. I'm he, okay. Oh, yeah. He was planning a brisket. Mm. Then we watched an episode of Barbecue Showdown, available on Netflix. Season three um, out now. Season three out now. Great show. And we realised that a brisket takes, like, at minimum 12 hours. And whilst we do love you, we don't quite love you that much. So you put in the effort, it's not enough. That's fine. That's fine. That's as long fine. as we get food at the end. <laughs> but it is we're banging. Oh, and it we is. have smashed a lot of it up to now. I know. And I have done the public a great service by letting you eat that not at a microphone. Yeah, I know, yeah. Because that was very... Mm. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was. There would have been a lot of slurping going on with that. Mm. It was delicious. It was I so can't delicious. wait to eat more of it. Alex, thank you. We love you dearly. Yes, thank you, Alex. We should go and hang out with Alex at his house sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. When he's doing that barbecue for us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there was a time when I invited you guys over to do that, and you were like, yeah, we'll, um, we'll play video games with Alex, and you can make us dinner. I never said that. I, I said that. <laughs> I said that as a joke, and you did not take that well. <laughs> I did not take no. that well. I, you, you know, because I'm... I, I'd say shit, and I, you know, you, everything you, I say is in jest. Never take me seriously, but I didn't. But that well. one, that one did not that land hit, well. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you walked out, I was like, "Oh, I done fucked up." <laughs> did not enjoy Are we that. We're joking. One? We love you. We love you the most. Bad do. Well, we'll soon find out. Won't we? we will. Right, let's <laughs> it's pull on the line. Let's pull Drew out his little box again, shall we? Sing us in, baby. Here come Sam and Ryan, listen to them both speak. They've come for hours all with their pop culture critique. But are you even a nerd if you don't overread? So come on, everybody, it's the snack of the week. Thank you, Drewski. So what have you got for us then, Manager Megan? So, to try and compete with Matt, mm-hmm. not to throw shade, but I made... Mine. Oh, 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 oh shade. Mean, that, that is all over. Shade, mate. That is. I didn't buy mine. I made oh, mine. Oh, oh, man. Ow, knives in there. I made three things. <gasps> in fact, yeah, Matt made me make the chicken. He didn't get in there and cook it up himself, did he? Or did he? He might have done, actually. I think it happened before I arrived. Did it, yeah. Mm. So... Right, well, I'm swinging for the fences. So what there is in front of me is a big white box, like a proper Should cake Should I take box. photos, yes. which you never do? <clears throat> yes, that's what you're here for. Can do the big, re- big reveal. Big reveal. Big white box. It's just um, a box, really, that's probably got cakes in it. It's got something in it. 
Okay. I open? Are we ready? You open it. I have gone for spreading the odds on the flavors that you both like because you have slightly different tastes. Mm, you're correct. a bit more sweet than you are. Mm. I'm sweeter than you. you definitely. Yeah, that's true. So I'm, um, I'm trying to cover all bases here. Wow, different okay. flavors. Homemade. <gasps> I'm excited. Drum roll. And customized. <gasps> completely edible. <laughs> oh my god! Cupcakes. Jesus. These look incredible. I'm going to go very quiet because I need to lean over the mic. So <laughs> fucking hell. We've got Into the Podcast on. There's do our do little, you have Into the Podcast Our on. little logo. Which is edible. Edible logo. Oh edible my logo. Yeah, you win with that. That alone. They look incredible. Edible. And there's one for Josh and Corner. Josh, you know nothing about cake. Sit down. <laughs> Josh well, I got a nod. Expert. I would take it. I got a nod. Um, there looks like there's three flavours. There are three flavours. Can you talk us through the flavours, please? So, I'm playing again Ooh. the odds. So, at the front, we've got a Biscoff Ooh. cupcake. So, it, it is there is Biscoff in the cupcake. There is Biscoff in the buttercream. And then, there is a Biscoff... Don't worry, I've already took photos. Yeah, no, I want one for me. <laughs> Biscoff drizzle. With a Biscoff crumb and a Biscoff, just in case. So I really hope at least one of you likes Biscoff. I do okay. like Biscoff. I hate Biscoff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then you've got an Oreo cookies and cream cupcake. Oh. So there are, basically, it's a cupcake. It's got a cookies and cream Oreo smushed buttercream. Smushed. Smushed. A lot smushed. <laughs> <laughs> with an Oreo topper. And Ooh. then. I feel like twirls were mentioned back in the day as being elite. Oh, elite. You. We've yes. done twirls. We've yeah. done twirls, haven't we? So Top I tier. didn't... Well, see, I'm playing playing the game. So it is a batter chocolate cupcake with twirls in the batter. No way. Broken away. Um, And then it's got... Sorry. Dropping the mic everywhere. I'm used to this. We've all, we've all been there. <laughs> oh, it's all this day. Um, and then a chocolate buttercream with... Twelves with the twelves. I can't even remember what Matt got us now. Whatever it was, Ooh. it was shit. <laughs> I need a picture. You get a picture so I can get my face in these. Remember last week when there was a dog in the house, and as soon as we started doing food, it wouldn't go away. Josh, well, Josh, Josh, Josh right now, literally <laughs> hovering. He's ignored the feel his presence. He's just like <laughs> dribbling on my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I did do four with the intention of Josh and Claire, but. I only realised on my drive-in that Claire has dietary requirements that I she does, probably unfortunately. didn't so it's just Oh, home. never mind, eight. Yeah, more for us. <laughs> the thought was that. Yeah. Are you going... What are you starting with? I'm going with, with 12. I think 12. Josh. All right, let's go. I mean, they all look incredible. They are amazing. Yeah, so they're, they're what are you customised. Um, they're for you guys. I sampled yesterday. Yeah, but you've got to have one with us. No. Oh, my God. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to eat us. Eat into the podcast. I have some left if you do want to customise your own food. Yes, yeah, please. Let me know. But they turned all right. Oh. All right. Okay. They look incredible. I'm not talking for a while. I'm just going to eat. Why are you um, not going into professional cake making? Because mm, yeah. these genuinely you could sell for a fortune. Stop wasting your time doing a really good job. Yeah. <laughs> Stop trying to do a doctorate. <laughs> I will have to, it comes third behind, you know, my actual job, this unpaid job. You know, <laughs> there's little room left for baking. Why? There's loads of room for you to bake those cakes. <laughs> they all three of them have a like centered filling as well. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. I'm going straight in. We're well, going I'm, all in. I'm half done. I hope you've got room for the others. Oh, oh I have a point. Maybe do a half each. No, yeah, that's a good point. I want to sample all the flavours. Yeah. Have do you got like a knife or something? Should we, we can... spread them over? Yeah. Carry do on half... the episode and then we'll keep pulling one we'll... every now and then. Yeah, okay. I like that idea. Do some talking when I get a knife. So, I mean, I went to twirl one. This is incredible. And what do you see? What do I see? I see... Cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get for mouthfeel? Mouthfeel. Okay. Let me yeah. just get let me just get another mouthful for my mouth feel. Mm. 
orgasmic. It was a feeling. Yeah. I, I didn't actually try that one, so I'm hoping for the best. It's delicious. There you go. Just a work knife. Mm-hmm. All my cutlery is from work. What are you talking about? I'm and the iron. I'm the tally. Filling. Is it alright? It's so good. It's like, so good, isn't it? I'm in the thick of it. Mm. You know, you got the nice buttercream to go with the, the nice firm bottom. <laughs> but then you forget there's just a bloody twirls on top as well. We need twirls everywhere, mate. Oh. And that firm bottom. Mm. Woo wee! No soggy bottoms here. No, no soggy not at bottom. all, mate. I checked. We did the sensible thing and cut a bit off. We and did. Ryan's just ramming it in his face. <laughs> I said I was going to ram it in, and that's what I did. And Josh is finished. Josh is finished. What's your verdict on the Biscoff culinary corner, Josh? It's amazing. I'm My- very happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I would take it. That's like Gordon Ramsay giving you a star lap. <laughs> yeah. It's like um, a handshake from what's his face? Um, Paul Hollywood. Paul Hollywood. Mm. So yeah, Conway Corner, Josh is happy. He's going to go away and leave us alone now again. He's going to not talk to us for the rest of the night because he's got what he wanted. He's such a bastard, isn't he? We've got his valuable input on the Jammy Dodger. Yeah, that's, that is true, actually. We've got our money's worth out of him tonight. Fucking eyeballing the others, though, isn't he? Yeah, of course <laughs> he is. He's sniffing around. I can feel the dribble on top of my head. <laughs> what would you go for in terms of preference normally? In terms of flavour? Mm-hmm. I Most think... things I get is Oreo, to be fair. Really? Cake-wise, you know, like a donut or something like that, it's normally an Oreo or an Oreo cheesecake. Mm. The Twirl's my favourite chocolate bar. Yeah, same. I would go for the Twirl in this situation. As our manager, have we done Twirl on the podcast before? Because I'm starting to think we did it on an episode we didn't release. I think it has been mentioned. Have it. Has it? I think Pretty so. Sure we have. I can't remember. We did one that we didn't release because the. I feel like we've even done a flavored twirl. Maybe that was on one we? we didn't Maybe, release. Maybe yeah. You know, like an orange one or a mint one or something. Twirls come up at some point. Twirls definitely so come played up. Played to a strength. Mm. Yeah. Can't done your research, haven't you? Mm. You have done. Top top tier guest, you are. Top tier snack. Where are we put in the snack? Oh, top tier. Uh, sorry. Even... What a, stu- not... what a stupid question. I, I know, but we had to get it I on know, record, right didn't we? I had to take a loan out for, for the price of biscuits <laughs> to top all of these things. <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, worth it. Oh, it, was worth, it was worth it for us. Worth it for yeah. us. We, you know, yeah. We've done really well out of this. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm just, yeah, I'm not, I've lost nothing. I really want to eat the rest of this one, but I know that I will then ruin myself for the others. Be smart. But it's just looking at me. We'll come back. We'll come back? Yeah, we'll come back. You don't want to go out all of them one after each other? No, we'll come back. I want a unbiased, you know, oh, I'll tell clean you. review. I'll tell okay. you outright. We need a little palate cleanser in between yeah. then. We got some, we got, what, what drinks have we got today? Um... We've got some Freeway Tropical Crush, pineapple and grapefruit. Don't take them, don't drink it if you're on antidepressants. Oh, really? Why is that? Because <laughs> you can't have grapefruit when you're on antidepressants. Oh, does it say that on the wrapper? Yeah. Stops you getting an hard on or something, I can't remember. It's something like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't know Absorption. that. Absorption. Science. That's what I just said. Literally just said that. Hard ons. Yep. Absorption. Same thing. <laughs> yep. Same thing. Right, 60 second recommendation <laughs> if you're going to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you got one if you haven't got one we can skip it it depends pick me an area an area like a topic I don't know what do you like I love? did again I told you this I did do way back when a Game of Thrones rhyming 60 second recommendation you did a long time ago and you ignored it I didn't so... ignore it I've probably still got it in emails because I was going to make an actual rap for it but I don't I uh, never did. You can read it. Um, um, if you give me a topic. Uh, music. Okay. I will go. Wait, 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 wait. You can't just announce it like that. I've got to oh. get the timer up. Yeah, I've, I was just going to go I've the got topic. It. Okay. I've that's got fine. it if you want me to do it. You do my, go on then, you do my 60 second recommendation in a slight rap. All right, I want a beat, Ryan. I'm not doing a beat. You can fuck right Get off. on your phone then. <laughs> give me a beat. 
<laughs> Come on, to we, YouTube a beat. If we're doing just Rat. put beat. beat. What kind of beat, John? Um, something that's not been done before. So anything by gorillas. <laughs> they steal all their stuff from child's toys, don't they? Freestyle rap beat. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Is someone going to be rapping over this? No. Oh, there we go. We're in now. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've lost the email. <laughs> Here it is. Wait. Look away from your screens and put down your phones because it's time to talk about the Game of Thrones. If you're this late to the party, there's little excuse. There's no place to hide, no matter the recluse. I'm not reading the class. <laughs> <laughs> it's too fast. Keep going. Keep Lower going. the tempo. Wait. Here we go. I'm blaming Get back into me. it. Get. It's been out for some time, so it's all there's to view. It's even critically acclaimed, so what's stopping you? Where do I start when explaining this show? There's dragons, there's nudity, and a guy called Jon Snow. <laughs> Wait, still going. It's longer than 60 seconds. We don't care. <laughs> From the north to the south, it's action galore. Joffrey's comeuppance, need I say more. A tale of warring families... All seeking the throne. They'll, I'm bopping and I keep missing where I'm going. A tale of wearing families or seeking the throne. They'll break what they need, law, oath or bone. Yes, nice. a lot of one. But it doesn't stop there. There's a much bigger threat because winter is coming. There's a reason to fret. An incredible cast too, Clark, Pascal and Bean, based on great books and translated to screen. Oh, <laughs> There's more. So whatever you're after, you'll find it all here. Romance or murder or zombies to fear. A quick word of warning, let the seventh be the end or you'll sit through a finale that's difficult to defend. This is why I've not watched it. There's more. I don't remember it being this long. I'd still say it's worth it, just don't get too attached. It's really, It really is spectacular and almost unmatched. There you go. Nice. This email and any attachment is intended for <laughs> the attention and addresses. <laughs> if unauthorised, use disclaimer. Flowed a little bit differently. Yeah, I, in probably my should, head. I probably should have read that before trying it's it. Fine. But it worked, didn't it? It did, yeah. Exactly 60 seconds as well. <laughs> <laughs> it was like H was here. Um, so you, right, <clears throat> you sent me that on. Yeah, look, um, up, right. So when we ask for recommendations. And they ask you to send things in. When was that? So Sam? you recently put up a post saying what three to four business months was it? Yeah. Yeah, you sent me that in March last year. <laughs> March twenty twenty three. Correct. <laughs> we're just gonna be we've been working on our rap game. That's our problem, right? Ryan had to create that whole beat. Yeah, I did. And put it on YouTube. I put it on YouTube. And <laughs> sixteen months later, it was flawless. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, well done, Megan. That Thanks. was a really good 60-second recommendation from yourself. Uh, on Game of Thrones, never seen it, heard it's shit. It's great. Wrapped it up a little bit quick for my liking, towards the end. I agree. Wrapped it up quick, isn't it? A lot of series. Yeah, yeah. but like, as in the, just the, they quickly tried to tie off loose ends with the story. and oh, felt, It felt rushed. I think they'd caught up to the books, hadn't they? Because he'd yeah. not... They were very much based on the books, and he'd not. And he'd not written it. So the, the last next one. was it two or three series that were just kind of winging it. He'd given them a rough outline of what the, how the story was going to go, but then the producers could interpret it how they wanted. Right, it started going downhill from there. There's still some banging episodes. Mm. The last season was pretty shit, though. The yeah. whole season, or just like the sort of I end? think the majority of that season was poor. Yeah. Even the big battles, they were. They were, they were shit. They were compared shit. to some of the like. There are some like cinema worthy scenes, absolutely, in those shows. Yeah, that are like, absolutely incredible. Yeah, the, that season was not one of them. Uh, yeah, I agree. I feel like. Have you seen the, the videos of the cast reading the season? Yeah, the scripts? their faces. So in when really? they do the um, what's it called? The something read table table, table read. read. Yeah, their faces. Oh yeah. 
Um, because it's just... I mean, there's even interviews with um, Amelia Clark, who obviously is one of the main characters, plays Daenerys Targaryen. I've seen videos of her. She's like on, like on a red carpet somewhere. And then someone asks her, it's like, oh, you know, Game of Thrones all finished. And she even she's like, yeah, best season ever. <laughs> and then starts laughing slash wincing. And you're like, oh, that's before they've even um, released it. I remember um, Kit Harrington, who obviously plays Jon Snow, another major character. You know, he was on the, I think he was on the Graham Norton show. And he was like, I think, you know, Graham was asking him how he feels about it. Now it's all finished. And, and his first reaction was like, oh, I'm really worried, worried we've cocked it up. Really? And you're like, oh, like fair enough. Everyone's going to have that because it's the final of anything. You want to wrap it up. You want to do it really well. But the fact that a major star's coming out and thinking, shit, I'm actually genuinely worried we've made, we've balls this up. You don't see that on like any of like, you know, no. normally, you, you know, things like, I don't know, let's think Avengers, for example, a big climactic thing. It's culminated a year's worth of culminated together. There was never doubt in anyone's mind that of anyone that was involved with that that they're not creating something legendary. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that they pretty much even the main stars are going, oh, I'm not sure. But that being said, you still need it's to watch it incredible. because there's still some incredible storylines that are finished before the mm. end. Yeah. And so it's you- one of those shows that I, from the outset, don't really do like period drama kind of yeah. costumes and whatnot. And initially went. You know, and then as soon as you're in, and that's why if you do, you know, if you get the coherent rap, that there is literally something for whatever you like. There are a bunch of romance storylines, a little bit of incest, you know, just just a, just a smidge, a hell of a lot of murder, mm-hmm. a lot of naked people, yep, a lot of sex, mm-hmm. a, politics. Ryan's favorite subject. Oh, just you wait till we start talking about that in a bit. Pedro Pascal. I mean, all I got from that was you slagging my rap off. It was great. Right? Everything you said after that, just I just didn't listen to because you slagged my rap off. But it is a really good show. It, it just is. it's it's disappointing. Don't be put off just because of the end. By because, the end, um, and some incredible plot twists. I Absolutely think, amazing. I think this is the thing. Right? It was the first show I watched where you you kind of most shows before that you were you would never expect main. Yeah, main cast to get killed off. It just wasn't. You knew, oh, they'll come back, or exactly. even Marvel. Oh, they, or, they wouldn't like, kill they them. They do come it in back. the season finale. It's like no episode four, dead. Mm. And you're like, you what cannot the fuck? get like, attached to a single person in that no, show. No, they no, do not care. Absolutely. So definitely worth watching. I think just from a just from a pop culture mm. stance, I feel like yeah. it's one of those things that everyone, most people have seen. So it's. It's on the list, even if you're not overly fussed. But it is really, really good. And I'd like are... to rewatch it, to be honest, because some of the middle series I've only seen once and they were incredible. I've seen the first couple of series probably two or three times where I've attempted to rewatch it. But Yeah, I'm yeah. rewatching it whilst Alex watches it for the first time. Ah, nice. Favourite character, he loves um, Peter Dinklage. I mean, iconic. Brilliant. Yeah, Tyrion incredible. Lannister. You would love him. He, he is the is. god of tits and wine. It's not. I've, the thing is, I've seen a lot of it. Did, yeah. Through bits and I think bobs. I've seen... I, I watched season one when it first came out years ago. Um, and it was okay. It was what it is. But yeah, just through Facebook and bits and bobs, you just see, obviously, probably one of his most yeah. iconic roles, wasn't it? So, um, yeah, and it, you just see lots through that. It's not as... Because Alex had seen spoilers by now. Yeah. Which, which dampens it a little bit. But there genuinely are some scenes that, that could be on the big screen. There's oh, the one the where some of the light, light walkers come through those gates on the get the little boat and run away. Oh, I really want to rewatch that. That's so good. Yeah. Put it in any film. It would, it would almost, one could say, rival Terrifier. <gasps> You're a liar. You're a liar, Megan. In quality. Almost. Terrif- the almost. Terrifier. What a film. It's what a film, mate. You know a film I watched the other day? Teeth. You ever seen that? I have seen Teeth. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen Teeth, Megan? I've not seen Teeth. Do you know what it's about? Is it about teeth? Yeah. It's about um, a, a young lady who uh, has teeth in her vagina. Of course it is. Yep. I expect nothing less yep. from you. Yep. Person. That film's fucking weird. <laughs> it is very weird. Uh, com- comedy horror. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's one of those that makes you wince a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's like, obviously, you know... Does it bite things off? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, quite a lot of them actually. Yeah. Yeah. By the end, you see a lot of seven willies. <laughs> She's yeah. just going for it at the end because she yeah. just wants to fuck those men up because men are the pigs. Well, that, and that's obviously the moral of the story. It, it is. She starts it is. using it as a weapon against. She, you know. it's, it's a way of fighting back. Yeah. Yeah. Which fine. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Metaphor. It is a metaphor. Yeah. 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 It's just not that good of a film. No. Not in, in spite of the metaphor. Do you know what I mean? It's just in, in the same in night. In spite of the metaphor. In the same night, I watched that followed by Horns. Horns is a banger. I've still not seen that. Daniel that Radcliffe Nicholas... one. Oh no! It's uh, Daniel Radcliffe. I've not seen it. It's such a good film. Man. I really want to. I Again, really want to watch lots of his weird. What I did watch that you horror, mentioned great. Um, Imperium. Imperium, yeah. Good film. Mm. Very you good film. It's not. It's not Harry Potter there. No, he, he played it well, didn't he? He did play For the it fact well. That I didn't know how they was going to pull it off mm. to play a neo-Nazi, but very good film. Yeah, very nice. Good. Uh, should we eat another cake? Yeah. yeah. You've already sliced that biscoff up. Should we... I was ready, mate. Why are you two all, chatting? I'm going to pinch a bit. I'm having a bit of biscoff on, because Megan... We've all got biscoff on. No, not that bit of biscoff. No. Come on, Megan. Biscoff, what? bit of biscoff. I don't actually like biscoff. Really? <gasps> Controversial. You're weird. I know. So I don't get any joy from this. But watching you guys be happy... I, I love Bischoff. I love Bischoff. You know what? I don't realise how much I like Bischoff until I have Bischoff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't... Because some people go mad for Bischoff. I think, yeah, it's good. Don't buy but... myself. Every time I have one, I'm like, yes. Mm. I think I might prefer that to the 12. Me too. So be at the 12. That is better than the 12 one. Okay. That is delicious. Still firm bottom. Oh, yeah. No soggy bottoms yet? No soggy bottoms. Yeah, top tier again. I agree. Better than the twill. There is Biscoff in every part of that. Oh, it's so good. All of it. Mm. I've Should... got a massive pack of Biscoffs left there. And you don't mm. like them? Like Does Alex like them? I think he'll dunk him, maybe. Might have a dunk. Legend. Mm. Yeah. Right, if you don't want them, bring them in. Okay. Bring them into work. I'm sure we'll get through them if we have to. Oh, if we? we have to. They're quite a big pack. Oh, why? Because there were some, I've not seen them before, but they were like an Oreo, but Biscoff, like circular with like a cream. Oh, it. I've had them before, yeah. But mm. I thought I'd, I'd go traditional. No, I like it. I think you did the right thing. Good. Uh, should we do one of these little quizzy games that Megan's I'm excited, yeah. Yeah? I thought since Sam quizzes everybody else. That's because that I'm could... thick as shit, that's why. I don't like people to know how thick I am, so I just quiz You're other people. You're not thick, Sam. I am. You're about to see. We're all well, about to see. You shouldn't be. So I've only got a few rounds, but round one is on the podcast and your knowledge of it. I'm going to be terrible. Mate, <laughs> we don't know what we're talking about when we're talking about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't quote me. I haven't gone back through every episode. This is what I can remember, but it's going to be more than you. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> okay. So not including this. Not including this episode. Yeah, or what you've just eaten. All oh, right. How many snacks have I brought in for the show? Oh, oh my god! Shit. Hold on, let me count. Snacks. That, have we used all of your snacks? Snacks that have been that mentioned have featured, on the featured show. on the podcast. Five. I'm going to go eight. Five. Both wrong. What is it? Seven. Oh, oh you are. Name them. We had. Um, oh my gosh, I actually wrote these down. I did. So we had the Neapolitan ice cream. Oh, they were aero banging. buttons. Oh, yeah, they were yeah, good. Yeah. We had the the pizza pepperoni pizza crisps from America. Yeah. I can't remember how we rated them. Not, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. I was thrown back to our roots of weirdness. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, still, we're still a big fan of that. We want the weird and wonderful. That's what we said at the time, yeah. Um, I got you two bars from Krakow. Yes. You did, yes. One was like a coconut. Correct. I don't yeah. remember what the other one was. Uh, was one was one alcoholic? Yes. Yeah. Was it like an advocate one or something like that? Yeah. But we didn't realise. Yeah. Then we were pissed. I had to drive home. I know. Putting the whole podcast in danger, Megan. We were. Um, Alex threw one in, which was the fruit salad wafers. Oh, yeah. Mm. They weren't great either. They weren't top tier. No. No. Weird again. Weird again, but cool. That's what we need, yeah. Um, I bought you in, I can't remember what flavour, but it was a different flavour Jammy Dodgers. It was like um, 
a mixed new flavor one. Yeah, I think that might have been like the black currant or something. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. And then I brought in, you guys had flips for the first time, the chocolate covered pretzels. Oh, yeah, because yes, you never did. had pretzels. I never had, no, no. Tell Megan more things you've never had, <laughs> quick. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a cookies and cream Oreo. Oh, um... my God, me neither. We'll have one of them in a minute. <laughs> so the answer was seven. I was close. I said eight. And we I were had closest. No idea, so I Are we going points? Numbers. Do you want me to keep tally of points or not? No, because Sam... Just for the love we, of the we, game. We, yeah, we're just playing for the love of the game. Yeah, Pride. love of the game, yeah. Because when I lose, then Sam will be extra smug. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. How long did I actually agree to do the social media for? A month. A month. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been now? Too long. Yeah. <laughs> and I tune in... And ev- many more. <laughs> I tune in every episode to hear what you're going to tell me I need to do. <laughs> oh, Megan will do this. Oh, it's Megan will do that. Because you do it. Like oh. We say stuff that we should do and never do it, but then we say stuff you need to do and it gets done. I don't Wild. get how that works. No, Wild me neither. Yeah. We need to figure that out sometime. Yep, so really enjoyed that. So well done. So that's a point each. Point each. I thought we weren't keeping score. Shush. I, got, I said a month. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I said a month. That means I'm 2 nil up. So, next question. 12. Stop eyeing each other. <laughs> how many guests have you had on the podcast not including me um we're only counting if they've been on more than once only counting so not one. including you and max is one yeah yes okay so hold on this is your podcast guys you were there are we including you no, no. um Um, you go first. No, that's not fair. We should say it at the same time. All right. I've, I've lost count. Three. I'm just going to say it. Two, one. Six. Five. It is six. Yes, six. it is. Who am I missing? You're missing Drew. Fuck, I am missing Drew. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Name. Drew was the one I missed. Because he's on every episode, I forget. Name so, them all. Max. Yeah. Matt. Yeah. Kennedy, yeah. Kyle, yeah. Drew, mm-hmm. and the lovely Claire. Correct. Absolutely. Shit, I can't believe I forgot Drew. I knew you'd forget Drew. You're going to lose a sponsor. You hate Drew. <laughs> I love Drew. You literally say it all the time. Oh, shoot, we're recording. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What number episode oh, God. was the legendary Apple Milk? Closest wins. Ooh. 21. 12. Both wrong. Go on. It was episode 18. <sighs> you know what? I nearly went 17. Ooh. I still would have been wrong, but yeah, I'd have been, yeah. I'd have been closer. closer wrong. <laughs> okay. This one is not... That was so long ago. It was uh, yeah. a long time ago. This one's not meant to be mean. It's and not there, meant to be mean. There may be more that listeners come up with, but this is what I could remember. Since the beginning of the podcast... How many breaks have we had? No, I did look at that one, (laughs) but there were too many to count. (laughs) How many new hobbies or interests has Sam picked up and put down since the podcast began? Oh, let's think this up. Should we do it together? Well, picked up and put down. Well... So is Warhammer one of them? Yes, so you. So Warhammer, Magic, Tarot card reading. I was going to... Yeah. uh, Dead by Daylight. Are we doing well, games? Mm. Gaming in general or just games? Streaming. I've not gone streaming. Huge. I still stream. I stream I've got bit. streaming on here. I, you, you dip in and out. You do, do dip in and dip out. In and out. Yeah. I would count, I would count right. that. So that's four. Streaming. Um, um, there's got to be more. B- 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 oh, God, there's loads more. What else were you going to do? Um, um, I know one that you've definitely put down. We just need to look around the room. <laughs> yeah. so much I'm games, going to give the viewers an inside look at. Yes, the amount of things you collected in this room. It's board games. I mean, board games... Were board games isn't on here It was way before the podcast anyway. Yeah. You're already on that. Um, we're probably missing some very obvious ones. Yeah, we're going to be missing loads. Skateboarding? No. <laughs> do I not do that? <laughs> no. Um, what do we do? Surely there's stuff Script writing? Yeah, yeah, I didn't writing. even put in script no. writing. That's because they're still ongoing. With, yeah, we never put it down. <laughs> you like the remainder that I got from memory. 
Go for so it. So you got about five. Yeah. I made out ten. Ooh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. We're yeah. only halfway there. Right, come on. Go so for I it. heard yeah. magic. Yeah. yeah. Still do it. Occasionally. Occasionally. Tarot cards. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Still, I can see them in the box. Yep. I bought a new book for that the other day. Not ready yet. Streaming. Yep. Yep. Warhammer. Did, did a stream yep. two days ago. Twitch TV, guys. You know. Why don't you fucking follow me? Puntland Pirate TV. <laughs> <laughs> Kennedy Hunter TV. TikTok, you made one, did two videos. Don't think we've had anything since. Yep, true. Yeah. <laughs> um, one I know it's not you... a hobby. I didn't want to do that in the first yeah, place. But exactly. You did that of your own accord. Yeah, but that got boring quick, didn't it? One I know you've put down because I can't see any rings. Yeah, oh, I yeah, yeah, the rings. Yeah, yeah, but... You've got zero rings yeah. on your fingers. Yeah, it's kind of recently showered. If you see my finger there, all the skin's disappeared. For some reason, it's sending me fucking hand weird. Them rings are. Oh, no. Although, I wore them yesterday. And I, sh- I didn't wear them today. I did shower earlier, but... Yeah, I wore them yesterday. Rings are still a thing. Did you not shower yesterday? Huh? Did you not shower yesterday? No, but I got in from work and got straight out of shit mm. and just got straight into comfies. But you definitely did pick it up. Oh, I picked it up. I'm still yeah. ringing. Don't worry about that. The still rings are ringing. still there. You've shown me your Super Bowl rings. Yeah. Hefty. One, two of them. Hefty, they are. <laughs> they are hefty. What else have we got? Power World. Oh, yeah. I've not done that in a while. You were obsessed with Power World. You were obsessed You were absolutely with fully obsessed you with Power You should have played World. it. It was so good. It's Power Wash Simulator on there. Jet, Jet Wash Simulator still, is still on here. It. I feel like you still do that. I do, because I've still not bought the um, SpongeBob SquarePants uh, DLC. It's the last one I've... I don't understand how you can Power Wash something under the sea. Don't it makes worry about no it. no sense. Don't worry about it. It's going to happen, though. What else? Um, play Talk, because you picked that up recently. I don't yep. know how long it'll last. Well, see, you guys seem we got invested. A five-star restaurant. I'm just saying on plate up on Friday. I would this, like to us to have a game before I leave. This is all down to Ryan because I can only play it with Ryan, and when he lets me down and doesn't show up to shift, and I have to close the restaurant early because he's not showing up. We showed up big time on Friday. Monday and Tuesday, you said let's play plate up, and I waited for the text, mate. I w- opened up the restaurant. Yeah. Where were you? Both days. I had the flu. Did, no, he was here on Monday. Exactly. We finished early so we could play plate up. Yeah, and I got the flu on the way home. <laughs> what is? Where do you play it? Where? On, on what? Oh, but I, I've got it on Xbox and PC. Paid for it on PC. I'll, nice. I'll start playing. What have you got it on? Xbox. Yes. Yes. Free. Forget it on you Game Pass. You can stream it. Yes. Sorted. Oh, my God. Oh, it's Download like I'm tonight. still we, making we'll content. All, we'll, we'll all play tonight. Deal. No, we won't. I'll play when I get in. No, you won't. <laughs> yes, I will. Anyway, I don't play play it up or stream anymore. <laughs> I've given up. Okay, so the last one that I had, I am sure there are more, and listeners can tag on. Um, you, I'm going to put them together, audiobooks slash reading. You occasionally like, oh, I'm going to read more, I'm going to read more, I'm going to get on my audiobooks because I'm going to read more, I'm going to read more, I'm going to go for walks and read my audio. I'll have you know... When did I finish the Stormcast Turner one? About two weeks ago? Two weeks, weeks ago, about yeah. two weeks ago. Yeah. And yesterday, in the hotel room, I started reading Moon by James Herbert. Nice. How long did it take you to get through that last one? What, the audiobook? Not that long, to be fair. I mean, how long's an audiobook? They vary. From, well, on average, I'd say about 10 hours. About 10 hours. Got through it quite quick, a few weeks. Okay. Yeah, I did smash through that one. I've got, I've got a few more I've not listened to. I've, I've started the Indrastle one. Bit boring, though. Is it? Bit boring. Yeah, I've got Keir Starmer's biography on the go. <laughs> have you actually? I genuinely have. I'll show you right now on my own. Have you audible. actually? Yep. Just you do. wait. Audible. Where Ryan are you? Keir Starmer's so biography. Eager. Oh, my God. I've got 12 and a half hours left. <laughs> wow. We're not doing politics. Well, honestly, we're going to transform this. Po- we're, from, not. we're going to move from pop culture into politics. We're not. I'm we are. You. Honestly, you watch the numbers soar. It's the perfect time. It's top trends. I don't it's care. It's top trending. Top There's trends. just been a general election. I don't care. Jenny Sir Keir Starmer. He sent me a message earlier. I hear. He sent I me hear. an email at work. I've heard this. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. He did? You got it as well. I got it as not well. Not a hey, Ryan. He said, I... hey, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> did get an email. Oh, yeah. well, that was heartbreaking to listen to. What? Yeah. What such a loser I am. Thanks, Megan. Oh, yeah. That was a bit of a kick. I would go on out his presence, but I've had grapefruit juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, because that gives us content. It does give us content. It's all for the gram. Yep. Yeah. All for the gram. Okay. So, the next round is Central Pop culture 
I can't read. For now. For now. You can choose the... You choose how you want to score it, okay? So we're going to do a guess the year based on a video game, a film, and a song from that year. Okay. Do you want them in a specific order? No. As they come... Oh, should we just work together? Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll work, work together. together. Yeah. Okay. Two brains are better than one brain. Keir Starmer said that. <laughs> he really did. Book. I heard it earlier. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not narrated by him because that would have been the icing on the cake, but yeah. never mind. Okay. Narrated by Stephen want... Fry. <laughs> I love Stephen Fry. Isn't he a babe? He is. He is a babe. He'd be in my, um, you know, if you could go like have dinner with like four celebrities. Oh, That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he on would, everyone's he list. Would though, be isn't he? He's always on everyone's yeah. list. And I like his books, but like my mum and dad came around yesterday, random to side tangent, and they went to give me his book Mythos. I've not read it. I've they, got it. They thought it was mine, but it wasn't. And right I declined it because I would like it, but I'm just going to get on Audible so I can actually listen to him. Mm. Yeah. He narrates oh, Harry Potter. Yes, on, on Audible. He does, yeah. But I thought you'd like that because it's Greeks, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So I, want, I do want to listen to that. Got but that. I'm better at listening than I'm reading. I'm, very, I'm not very... Um, what's the word? I, I don't know. My brain's not working. Words. I'm not very... Yeah. Wordy. I'm Let's not, very, I'm not very good at disciplined is the word I was looking for. Disciplined for reading. I, I get bored. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. Do you want to go, do you have a preference? Do you want to go like game, film, song? Do you yeah. want a song? Sure, whatever. Do, song, song because I think I'll struggle the most with the song. Yeah. Okay. And then game and then film because my film knowledge is better. So it'd be nice if we can get it before mm. the film. Okay. If we even get any. Okay. First one. What do we say? Song first. Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Ooh. So Boulevard that's... Boulevard of Broken song. Dreams. I would have been about 16. So it's American Idiot American album. Idiot album. And that, that came out in 2004, I think. Around about 2004, maybe 2003. Do you reckon? Uh, we're in that ballpark, I think. 2004 would make sense. I think yeah. it's 2004. Um, do you want to carry on? Yeah, keep, let's keep carry going. On. Let's but keep I'm going. saying because I said 16, and that would make. make I'm gonna 16. go 2004. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Film. Yeah. Was Halo? Oh no, game. Sorry. Was Halo Two? Ah, oh, that was 1973, though. I'm gonna. Ooh, Halo Two. This it's was all right by Wikipedia. It's definitely by 2003 the way. or 2004 because Halo Three came out in 06. I remember that because I was in year 11, I think. And that was the first game that all, all that was when online gaming became a thing yeah, for yeah, Halo yeah. Three, and we were all I can remember I was sixteen. Okay, go so for I'm the film. sticking with two thousand four at the moment. Okay, to round it off then. Yeah. Scooby Doo Two Monsters oh, Unleashed. That doesn't help me. I will push Scooby Doo. Two thousand four classic. Two thousand four. I'm yeah. sticking with two thousand four. We I went with do. that straight away. Yeah. That's... Okay. Yeah. yeah. Two thousand four. Yes. Come on. Come on, boy. Okay. Next one. We say songs first. Song we? first. Okay. So I tried to go with ones, obviously, that you all know of. Yeah. So Circles, Post Malone. <sighs> don't know it. Okay. I'm, I'm out on this one. Don't know it. I'm going to say, shit, I've only recently got into Post Malone. 20 is pre-COVID. I'm going to say 2019 based on that. Is it from... No. What's the album? No idea. I haven't listened to him for uh, most of this year. I was big on him last year. That was your pick-up put-down. Yeah, he was like one of my top artists from last year, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, Should we go to the game? Yep. Yeah. I'm, go- I'm, I'm, stick- I'm, I'm around 2019 at the moment. You're trying to get in early and just prove that you can get them, aren't you? Okay, next one. Game. Gears 5. 2019. Before lock- was it, w- it? Yeah, it was, it was, the, sum- it was, the, it was the summer before lockdown. 2019. I'm happy with 2019. Finish with the film now. Finish with the film. Parasite. Oof, that doesn't help me actually. I'm sick in 2019. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Yeah, mm-hmm. for, for some reason I thought lockdown was 21. It wasn't. It's was 21. It's 20. And it was the year before that I went to see Parasite for the Q and A. Yeah. Yeah. Happy 2019. Yeah. Yeah. 2019. Yeah. Oh, played. What was the album? What was the Post Malone album? Not, not a clue, mate. I I've, I've never it. listened to Posty Line. I've only listened to like. You know, you, yeah, playlist, yeah, you? I got big into him last year. Yeah. Okay. We're fucking smashing this one. You fire. are doing well. I'm very proud of you. Get that light on. Yes. 
That lamp made a difference, didn't it? It really did. <laughs> okay. Ready? Ready? Yes. Classic. The song, Barbie Girl by Aqua. Oh, 90s, straight away. But um, I could not tell you. Individual years are odd. You know when you're a kid, everything blurs into one a little bit. Yeah, so late 90s. I'd say 97. Yeah. Maybe even earlier. 96. I th- I'd say I was around 10. Ish. I was born in 88, 98. Go, go next. The game, Grand Theft Auto. The first Grand one. Theft Auto. I think it's early. I think 96. Do you reckon? Go for the oh, film. Yeah, go on then. Okay. The film, Goodwill Hunting. I'm going 98. I think you might be right, actually. 98. I think, I think Goodwill Hunt. Oh, was it? Maybe you can go 96. We haven't got to stick together on this, mate. When was Goodwill Hunting? You are better at dates than me. I'm going to go 97 because Matt Damon's in Goodwill Hunting and if he was in the same Private Ryan, which was 98, but I think he's a bit older than that. I'm going to go 97. You stick him with 98? I'll stick with 98, but... I'm yeah. not confident on this one. It was 1997. Well, yeah, there you go. You see? Close. We were straight away, Bar- Barbie, um, Barbie... Barbie Girl. girl yeah. It's... Like I said, when you were a kid, they all blur into one. Oh, like, yeah, I can't yeah, remember. Yeah. Like all, I don't. I have no concept of songs being released. It's just yeah. whatever's played at the bloody school disco. Yeah, I was born with like seven days to spare of that year. Wow, oh, sad, well, isn't it? Not that you're old. Thank but you. But you were three for three. There's any more? Is that it? No, got two more. Oh, cool. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to see which one I go to. Okay. So the song, Payphone by Maroon Five. Okay, I'm not think, sure I know it. I'm gonna go. You will know the song. 2012 ish. 2012 would be my guess. Game. Maybe 13. Far Cry 3. Oh, this is your ballpark, mate. Ooh, you should know this. Hell. I'm sticking with 2012. I don't. It's... I don't know for definite. I never played Far Cry 3. Yeah. So I don't know. 12 or 13. Because I see, I got into three after four came out. Bear in mind, it went no, it was after Primal, I think. It went three, four, Primal, five. I was thinking twelve. Yeah, good film. The Amazing Spider-Man. Fuck. It's not helpful. No, it's not. Might be later than twelve. Might be. I went to the IMAX to see that as well. Stick with twelve. I say I went. I went twelve I straight away. Didn't I? I, stick, I, I stick with twelve. Two thousand twelve. Yeah. I'm not. I'm less confident. This is the least confident I've been yeah. so far. Two thousand twelve. You all right? Ugh. Yes, mate. You fuck up. You love Maroon Five. I fucking do. <laughs> you love them. I really don't. <laughs> okay, last one. What are we doing? Music. Okay, the song "Beautiful Day" by U two. I fucking hate you two. Um, um, when did the match of day theme change? <laughs> oh, that was uh, naughty. Sam with all this soccer knowledge. Beautiful day, you two. Fucking hell. Uh, I've never, ever got into you two. Never listened to them. I've maybe listened to one album. It just didn't do it for me. It's a classic song. I... It is a classic thing. Uh, 2000, maybe 2001. Something like that. Yeah. I think I don't think it's as early as the nineties. I think it's not early noughties. I remember that being big around about the time Mum was listening to a lot of like David Gray and stuff like that. Mm. When would you put so, that then? I'd say I was about sixteen again. So, so a bit later, so about two thousand Well no, because that would be two thousand four. Do you want the game? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. The Sims. Oh shit. Oof. Again, I think maybe two thousand. 2001. Could be earlier. Could be late 90s, that. Go for the film. American Psycho. To that. American Psycho, as in... That's Christian Bale, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I think it's 2000. Yeah. I think it's 2000. What do you think? I reckon 2001. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. I think I'm going to... I think 2000. It very, yeah, it was very early 2000, wasn't it? Go for it. Go in 2000? 
Oh, you you're going 2001, I'm going 2000. 2000. It was 2000. Yes! Five for five. Five for five. Inse- you're so good with dates. You are very good with it's dates. It's ridiculous. I don't, yeah, I don't know why. They're sticking my head somehow. You're so weird. I know I am. Should we eat more cake? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Chop us up. An cookies Oreo. and cream. Oreo. Cupcake. And then... You've got I want the chocolate. One I want one the one thing after. this time. You want it. And then you've got another game, haven't you? I've got one more round. What you got? I'm going to read you the five actors and you're going to guess the film based on the actors. Interesting. So all five actors featuring that same yeah. film. Okay, love that. But obviously I'm not not necessarily going to read them in like big um, boy order. In big boy order. Mm-hmm. Right, grab some of this cake. Both you. There is cookies and there are Oreos in the batter of that oh. as well. You can really taste the Oreos in it. Mm. A little bit drier, that one, mm. than the uh, Biscoff one, but still banging. Still amazing. It's got biscuit, more, more of the little biscuits mm. in. I couldn't pipe that one because the piper got stuck with Oreo. Oh, fucking Oreos. You know what? I thought that was going to be too sweet for me. You know, cookies and cream. That's it's perfect Just for right. me. That's yeah. delicious. All right. Really nice. Where's it right in the three? If of I have the to. three. Of course it's top tier. Uh, yeah, well, out of the three, of where's the three. it right? Oh, uh, bottom. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I prefer that to the yeah. twirl. I think I might put that in second. It's Biscoff twirl that for me. Maybe even... Maybe even the top for this. Really? Go for a second bite, mate. And then have a second bite of your Biscoff. Cut us a, a little bit off that, please, because I, I can't have too much. Thanks. You got any buttercream on that one? No, I'm on mm. the side. I cut it so we had buttercream. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, the Biscoff top. Yeah. Biscoff still Biscoff, top. Oreo, twirl. In order. The twirl is fantastic, but very rich. Mm-hmm. And um, I, like, quite rightly, as you said, I don't have as a sweet tooth as Sam. Yeah. Okay. I'll take All it. fantastic, though. Yeah. All homemade. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying, Matt. <clears throat> Fully edible. Right, final okay. round. Final round. Guess the film from the actors. Do you want to guess... And I'll. Do you want all five, or do you want to guess as you go? We'll guess as we go. I think, like we were doing, try and break it down each time. So give us two first, because you yeah. have to guess off one. Why not? Okay. So, Killian Murphy. Yeah. Tom Hardy. Right. What Killian Murphy and Tom Hardy been in? A lot. Yeah. They've been in Batman, The Dark, Dark Knight Return. No, Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Inception. Yeah. Um, Dunkirk. Any oh, Christopher, no- any yeah, yeah, Christopher yeah. Nolan film, basically. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be rock solid because all of the Christopher Nolan <laughs> films are all the same. <laughs> Shit. Go for it. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. It's, it's, in- it's Inception or Batman. <clears throat> I'm going. It could be either at the moment. Gone. Michael Caine. He is in Inception. He's at the start. He's the he? he's the teacher at the turn up to. I'm going Batman. You go Inception, we covered all bases. Last one. Yeah. This will decide it. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, Inception. Inception. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That was tough though, because oh Superman. <laughs> but, yeah, because obviously, like a lot of act- a lot of directors will use the same actors, and Christopher Nolan he has his favourites. Got there early, mate. Mm. Next. Nice. Next. Okay. I tried this out on Alex, and this is the only one he didn't get. Okay. So, no pressure for us. Hoping it's not too hard. Tilda Swinton. Yeah. Yeah. Willem Dafoe. Mm. Tilda Swinton and Willem Willem Dafoe. Dafoe. Oh, um, that one I watched fucking recent. No. 
I've seen him in recently. And the next one? Yeah. Edward Norton. Ooh. Might have gone too hard for this. Tilda Swinton. Uh, Number four? Yes, please. Adrian Brody. <sighs> it's going to be something like the Grand Budapest Hotel. Or what's the other Wes Anderson one that was a newer one? The French Dispatch. I've not even heard of that one. I'm sticking with Grand Budapest Hotel. Last one. Ralph. Is it Fines? Ralph Fiennes? Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's yes. definitely Wes Anderson in it, yeah. Did not know that I had William Defoe in it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. He, he pulls a big cast. Oh, oh big, he does. Yeah, he does. Oh, big time, yeah. You watched um, Asteroid City. I've not seen that one, actually. How is it? Weird. As yeah, they're all weird. Oh, it's Anderson, oh, yeah. Massive yeah. cast. The cast's Massive always cast. the same. And again, he pulls a lot of the same actors because a lot of them like work in his style, whereas some actors really don't get on with it, I think. He's so different to he's, anything else you'd be doing. Yeah, he's like mainstream indie art films, isn't he? Yeah. In a lot oh, of ways. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Really k- kooky. Mm. My favourite is probably the Grand Budapest Hotel. I only see it once, but I think that's the best of the ones I've seen. Isle of Dogs for me. Really? Yeah. No. Fantastic, Mr. Fox is great. I've Bang not it. seen that. Love it. Really Such good. a great film. Okay. Jeff Goldblum. The Fly. The Fly. <laughs> Matt Damon. Jeff Goldblum and Matt Damon. Ooh. Keep going. Thor Ragnarok. Anthony Top Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, it's Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> You're f- so good. I tried to throw you with the Matt Damon. It did throw me for a second. It did. He but it's because he's only he's only um, his brief cameo. Brief cameo in the uh, as he's playing Loki. Plays Loki. Loki. Loki in the oh, theatre production. Yeah, the stage show. The yeah. Stage show. Yeah. He does. I thought yeah. I might get you. Yeah. There. No, that was good. That, that was good. Yeah. Okay. Right. Next one. I was sure it was the fly. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Nye. I love Bill. He would also be at my dinner. Okay. I do like Bill, though, yeah. yeah. He's got a thing with his hands. Have you, know, have you seen that? He's got a, his bottom two fingers, his ring finger and his little finger are permanently fused, fused in. It's, yeah, it's mm. kind of arthritis. And it's in every film. I, mm. I, didn't, I didn't clock it until one of his later films, it was like the Limehouse Golem or something that I saw that he was in. That's the film specs. It's like a detective one. It was a bit disappointing, like a gothic Victorian. Yeah, yeah. But he writes and he's only got the two fingers and they do close-ups of his hands and obviously it's worse then. And then I went back and watched his old stuff. So even in like Love Actually and stuff, he's mm. he does a lot of this. Like he, he moves his hands like yeah, that, yeah. but it's because these fingers are fused in. Go back and watch it. Bill Nye. He's saying brap, brap, and Yeah, he's all, yeah. Yeah. But it like obviously hides it well, and a lot of the shots won't be in it. But mm. there you the go. More you know. Interesting. Okay, next one. Martin Freeman. It's Love Actually. <laughs> it's not Love Actually. <laughs> um, Great film though. Bill Nye, Martin Freeman, Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. It's got to be on it. It's got to be. Kate Ashfield. I actually don't know who that Kate is. Kate Ashfield. Is she. Keep Ooh. going. Cause I don't know Kate. Ashfield. I don't know if I. Were you... Simon Pegg is the yeah. first one. Oh, oh, the yeah, yeah. Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. And Kate Ashfield the is the, she part, plays, yeah. the partner. Um, what, what's she called? Is Mrs. I think go, it's Liz. Yeah, Liz, go yes. to Liz. Yeah, go yeah, to yeah. Liz's. Yeah, I think it's her. Yeah, it's Liz. Yeah. Um, nice. Okay, last one. Go for it. I'm disappointed. It's the last one. I'm enjoying these. I'm enjoying these. I'll send you some more. <laughs> Steve Buscemi. Yep. Yeah. He's in a lot of films. Connor. Connor, what a film. Julianne Moore. Big Lebowski is my guess, but carry on. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Definitely Big Lebowski. Legend. It is the Big Lebowski. Yeah. <laughs> John Goodman go and Jeff Bridges. There it is. Fucking love Jeff. I was um, on about the Big Lebowski last night to our, our, our boy Drew. Oh, yeah. Because I sent him, because I bought a rug yesterday. And it really ties the room together. Ah, yes, sir. So I sent him a picture of the rug and saying it really ties the room together. Obviously, Big Lebowski. Should have sent him a toe. Yeah, I could have done that. He sent me a picture of he's found the dude's cardigan, like an actual genuine replica he can get. Guess how much? Go on. 
three hundred and sixty pounds Fuck it for a hell. cardigan. Wow. You'd have got like three rugs for that. I know. Jesus. It does really tie the room together though, the rug. Good. Honestly. I'll send, I'll send you both pictures later. Oh yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to next. Next home. Next home, yeah. Burn orange. We went for. Oh, nice. Ooh, yeah. Very warm. Yeah, your mm. your house would suit that. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Definitely tie it together. Mm. Yep. So cool. that, that's it for the little quizzy quiz. Well, Thank I enjoyed that much. a lot. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I haven't done a quiz for ages. No, I, I bloody know. love a film quiz, like the a pop culture is, one. I didn't look too stupid because Ryan was that on it that I didn't get a chance to talk. It, yeah. No, it's was, it's I, good I, yeah. because you were straight in there and it's like, yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was, I was actually quite happy with myself for the for the dates. The yeah, years, that, were, the years impressive. were tough. They were impressive. Because even like things like Post Malone and Bloody Maroon 5, you know, not overly confident. No. Right? Or Barbie Girl. <laughs> I mean, you smashed it with Barbie Girl. I know, yeah, we weren't far off straight away. Well, that was good. We're that straight was good in fun. with Barbie Girl. Yeah. It's a great song. Right. We should call it. We're an hour and a half in. A bit of a longer one today. Manager Mega Special. Manager Mega Special. That's what the episode's going to be called. There Tingo, go. Tango, Mango, Manager <laughs> Mega. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Megan, thank you very much for coming on. Have you had the best time? I've had... Yeah, I, I would say I, a lot better than when I started. Yeah. A bit nervous. And a bit of a nerves, yeah. A okay. lot of people feel that. And I've certainly got it for a long, long time, pre-recorded. It's like, oh, I feel really nervous. And then a lot of the guests that come on always say the same. But I guess we're just used to it now. And you just we, get, we just And I think the so thing is, because we don't out. plan either, Yeah, it's never. It's literally just sit down and talk. Like It went away when we stopped planning, because you're not going to fuck it up, because you've no idea what you're going to talk about. Yeah. You can't fuck up something you haven't planned. That's true. Although, going through your notebook, the difference between session uh, episode oh start. the very beginning we looked like two three pages worth of notes and now yeah, it's like four, four lines, lines. No. four lines <laughs> that we write as we're going yeah <laughs> and normally they're doodles yeah <laughs> that's a picture of a cock in that <laughs> well, but no but at thanks least for coming you've, on you've not signed me up to do anything in this one. Oh, it's coming <laughs> we're going to bring you back for more episodes yeah you are literally replacing me <laughs> now he can record on his laptop so you start going to his house and start recording the podcast yeah I'm going to have a well-earned break. It's been a while. (laughs) (laughs) And next episode, you will have your extra, just to make sure I beat Matt, gift. Oh, Oh, yeah. I'm excited. I forgot about that. Yeah. I mean, these are already incredible, these cupcakes. These are insane. You can take some home with you. Yeah. You're not. Am I? We're at my house, mate. So, yeah. (laughs) I forget you, Olivia. Yeah. It's Josh's house, really. Yeah. 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 Call me Corner Josh and Landlord. (laughs) (laughs) I got a positive reaction from Culinary Corner, Josh. You did. Taking it. Yeah. I know, big time. Old Gordon Ramsay over there, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> right, we will call it there. Hour and a half in. Megan, thank you so very, very, very much for coming on. You um, are going to have to come on a lot more and beat Max because he seems to be the regular, doesn't he? Yeah, he's been on, what, three, four times now? He's been on a good few times and, you know, you are more of a staple to this podcast than he has. Absolutely. It's true. I have to get you yeah. in as a, a regular feature. Yeah. Well, we've got the uh, All You Can Eat challenge coming up that Megan's going to be part of. And Megan is being brought along to to film <laughs> and watch you two eat. Yeah, we're going to well, do our best impression of beard meets food. Yeah, we're going to treat you to a glass of water or something. We'll get you something nice, don't you worry. I have some tater tots. You can have some tater tots. And Alex can come. Yes. And, and eat with you guys while I film. Yeah, what a no, great idea. No, I mean, no. no, no. <laughs> I'm not bitter at all. Not playing that one again. Uh, right, so um, Facebook and stuff. Megan, tell them. This is your thing. <laughs> all of the things. Facebook. Yeah. Twitter. Yeah. Which Ryan started and dropped. Instagram. I didn't agree with it when it changed to X. Yeah, me Instagram. too. Got um, all political. Didn't it? Yeah, I exactly. don't actually own any of the sign-ins for TikTok, so that is all you. We will also remind people, final bonus point question... What is the sponsor code for if people wanted to get a discount in Stoughton Road clothing? I'm going to add it to the end of the episode. Oh, I got well, reminded the other day. Into the pod. Hard, it? One. In, into, <laughs> <laughs> into the pod, TTV. <laughs> Puntland Pirate. <laughs> Stoughton Road clothing. 20, I'm going to watch Puntland Pirate later when I get in. Yeah, you should, mate. He's banging. Yeah. Good old, good old Poundland. <laughs> yeah, so we have a sponsor as well. Well done, Megan. Well yeah. done on that one. Uh, into the pod. 10% off all some shit. Was it 10? 20? 100? 
15? You get some money off, didn't you? Yeah. But we'll add that. We'll, we'll do that funny thing Matt did. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah, so go follow us and all of that. Please leave us a review on Spotify. It does genuinely help. And, you know, share with your friends. Say, listen to this. They're well funny, in it? And they'll go, oh, is it? And you'll go, it is, yeah. And if enough people listen to this, I might get, like, at least two pounds towards all of the things that I buy. <laughs> you might pay me. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would definitely give you two pounds. Just set this I'll give you two pounds worth of McVitie's vouchers. How about that? <laughs> You can replace we got the five pounds. <laughs> exactly. You, you get two pounds. We get one fifty each. You're doing better out of this deal than we are. That's true. I'll take it. Ryan. What? We like to end the episode every week with you just signing us off perfectly. Why? Megan's here. Yeah, I know. But I don't want to do that to her. Because but... I was initially going to do it to her, but I'm not now. Go on then. So can you please end the episode by telling Megan how much we appreciate her? Yeah, easy. Megan, thank you for everything you do. You have made this podcast bigger and better because, you know, we don't really do anything. And we genuinely really appreciate everything you do. So please don't leave. What you said. Peace.